In this command line basics video, we're going to be looking at how you can find files uh, within the command line the system. So what we're going to be looking at is uh, three commands, locate and update db, those two go together, uh, and then the find command. Uh, and they, they're kind of uh, two different approaches, and so we'll look at both of them and what the differences are between them uh, and how to use both of them. So to just uh, get ourselves oriented, I'm going to do a PWD just so we can see where we are on the server. So I'm in my home directory, um, and, and this will matter in a moment uh, as we begin to look at our commands. So the first command we're going to look at is uh, locate. Uh, and so locate works, uh, it actually there's a database stored on the server which lists all the files that it has access to. And uh, you will look up against that database. And, and it's a uh, very straightforward, so I'm just going to basically put the file name I'm looking for. So I'm going to try and find PHP INI. And you'll see I get a list back of uh, all kinds of stuff, anything that contains php.ini uh, and uh, in any directory. So you can see that this is uh, stuff that's located in Etsy and in user. So it's not limited to just uh, where I'm, where I am. It's going from the roots, looking through the entire database of everything that it has. So that's pretty handy uh, and pretty fast and easy to do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just create a, a file here real quickly. It's just a, a blank text file um, called test.txt. And uh, so I'm going to just stick that in my home directory here. So you can see it exists. Um, and let's go ahead and do locate again and, uh, and look for this file. Uh, same command. And you notice it brings nothing back. That's because locate is based on using a database. And if the database isn't up to date, then it's not going to actually find things. So there's the update db command. And most systems have this running on a cron um, to go through and update itself periodically. Um, but if there's something that's relatively new, you can manually do it by just typing this command. Now you can see I'm getting some uh, permission denied errors because it needs to go into a lot of places. And I'm a like, regular user right now. So I'm going to do this as uh, sudo. Uh, and so I'll just do sudo update db so I can grab all the stuff in the database that I need. And now that it's updated, uh, if I run locate again for that file, you'll see that we're going to find it. So now it exists in the database, so locate can find it. Without updating the database, locate doesn't know. If I remove the file, it's the same thing. I've removed the file. You can see it's no longer in the directory. Um, if I do locate, it's still there because it's still in the database. And so again, if you update the database, then that'll be a completely fresh uh, version to search against. Do that, and then we'll run this locate again. And it's gone. Okay, so that's uh, that's the basics of locate. Uh, now let's go look at another way that you can find things uh, on your server uh, called find. Uh, pretty simple command uh, name, uh, but you'll see that the command itself is not quite as simple as locate is. Uh, so find does not use a database. It's actually going to just uh, go through everything real time. Um, and uh, it requires a, a, a few more parameters. So we're going to work our way through this um, and try to find uh, PHP INI. So I need to put this dash name to tell find this is the name that I'm looking for. Uh, so find dash name and then the name of the file I'm looking for. And you'll see we're getting nothing back. Um, the reason for this, remember those PHP INI files, are uh, we're an Etsy and user and, and I'm in home so I'm in my home directory so it's going from where I'm located rather than doing the entire server so I can change that by telling find where to start so I can put in a path so I can do just slash Etsy or I can say just start uh, looking in slash home or I can just leave a slash which means look root that means search the entire thing and then I'll still put my name.php and again, I'm getting permission denied errors because a PHP INI file is in places that this user doesn't have, uh, you know, right access to. So, um, so if I do sudo though, same command, sudo find from the root of the server for PHP INI, and now I get some results back. Uh, but you can see I'm only getting two um, because these are exactly PHP.INI is the file name. 
um, if we look at the locate command that we did earlier, um, we'll see that we actually had a whole a whole lot of more items with PHP I and I. And so that's because uh, locate is doing uh, you know things that are contained within. So <clears throat> if I want to uh, replicate the same thing with my find command, I can just add a wildcard to the end. Um, I could also add one at the beginning if I truly wanted it to be contained with any characters before or after, but I'm just going to do it begins with php.ini and then ends with any other characters after that. Um, so by adding the wildcard uh, and then running the command, uh, now you can see we get the full list. This is the same file names uh, that locate returned. So you can see find is a little more complicated. Um, locate is pretty is very straightforward and simple um, and really fast because it's using the, da the database. So you just need to remember to do update DB. Also keep in mind that on a Mac, update DB works differently. It's set up on its own cron, so running it manually is funky. Um, I'm actually on a Linux server here. Um, but locate is really good for just doing a fast lookup. Um, you just need to find a file, don't care where you are. Find uh, gives you a little more flexibility in terms of, of what you can put in there for parameters, but it's also a little more complicated. So there's one last thing I want to look at, which is um, looking for directories. Um, we've been doing, we've been looking at files, um, which is what these commands are really designed to do. Um, but let's take a look and see how things go, and I want to try and find directory on my server. So I'm going to look for um, all directories called public HTML. Uh, so I'm just going to do locate and uh, run that. And you can see I get back craziness um, because it's going through that database of file names and finding public HTML in any of them with their paths. So it returns every single thing, um, which is a bit overwhelming and not what I was looking for. Uh, but if I use the find command, I can actually kind of make this work for me. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do um, my find command, sudo find, because I'm going to be finding in places my user doesn't have access. Um, uh, I'm going to just start from the home directory. There's no need to go from root. I just want all of the public HTML folders in the home directory, or under the home directory. Uh, and then name and my folder name, public HTML. Um, so very similar thing. I'm just limiting it uh, and giving it a directory name. And as you can see, this turns back the the three public HTML directories that are located underneath uh, my home directory. So that's really handy um, and, uh, and a nice thing to, to know as well is that if you're looking for directories you really probably want to work with find rather than locate. Um, but both really useful tools uh, and you should get familiar with the basics of them uh, and, uh, and have fun.